infinite power. Hey guys, it's Round 18 here, and I'm going to be doing a rant on Advanced Warfare. So the first thing I have to start off with, alright, I have very bad memory, so I have to pull up my notes. <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to be starting off is the new guns are next gen. Their excuse on why they can't give us the new guns, the blunderbuss, which actually I'm not too mad about because I've heard that gun is very bad, so I'm not missing out on much. The STG44, which is, I mean, that's pretty good, and then the SVO, which is pretty much just a rena remake. Uh, the Dragon Off, and their excuse, Sledgehammer's excuse on why we can't have that, is because of hardware limitations. Then why do we have the M1 Irons, the Ohm, and the AE4? Why? Why? That that, that doesn't make sense. Now these guns, if you don't know, are throwbacks to the World of War age. And, <clears throat> so, I mean, they're, they're alright, but why, I, I don't get uh, hardware limitations. Then why do we already have the LC weapons? Logic. Just, you're wrong. Next thing is uh, the new loadouts. The deep sea loadout. Why? There is no swimming at all in this game. Why? Why? There is no swimming in the campaign. There's one map climate where there's even water involved. And you don't swim anywhere else. There's no like actual underwater where you can like hold your breath from. What's the, what the, the point? <clears throat> it doesn't even look that good either. I mean, in my opinion, it's really not that cool. Uh, the next one is the fireproof exo. There's no flamethrower. There's nothing in the campaign that has to do with flames. And then, that's another thing on the differences between 360 and next gen. The fire actually looks like fire. Doesn't that make sense? It doesn't that, I mean, fire should look like fire, shouldn't it? And light bulbs, you know, light bulbs should glow like this. Sledgehammer, step up your game. Um, the last loadout. The clown loadout. That is one creepy son of that thing will haunt me in my nightmares for the next few days. That, I mean, that thing is creepy. I don't think Advanced Warfare knows that their main fan base is about 15, 16, and below. <clears throat> next thing I want to rant about is weapon variants. I really hope there are no weapon variants in Black Ops 3. If there are, I'm going to go to COD headquarters, and I'm going to... Oh, oh. I don't even care. <clears throat> Weapon variants make the game so unfair. So unfair. Oh, I mean, think about it. The Obsidian Steed versus, like, the Carbon. If they start shooting at the same time, who's going to win? The Obsidian Steed. Unless the Carbon gets extremely lucky. Why? I mean, that makes the game... And that means you just have to play more... Or, that, all that is is just proving that COD is just becoming a sellout. COD is becoming a sellout. <clears throat> they are adding things to the game that are pretty much forcing people to buy things from them in order to get better weapons or guns. Why? And then there are like, um, elite shields and crap. I mean... What does that do? I mean, it adds nothing. All that does is just give you bragging rights on saying you have an elite shield. I mean, really. Really. I just really don't get weapon variants. I really hope they're not in Black Ops 3. So... That's pretty much about it, but yeah, that's all. See you guys next time.